I love America. I would do anything for America. Thank you. Our country is worth preserving. We should appreciate the freedoms we have here. All day, it's like this. <laughs> I was drafted in 1966. I got injured in Vietnam. Came back in a, in a cast from my neck to my hips. I was fortunate. It wasn't appreciated at all, but the country has changed a lot since then, a whole lot. And I'm thankful for that. All right, God bless you, sir. God bless you, thanks for coming well, it's out. It's an honor to meet you. When I first sat here in July, I told my wife, I said, I'd like to see this whole corner full of people with flags. And uh, so maybe today's that day. He calls it his job. He feels like he's been told to do that. <laughs> he gets up every morning and says, all right, I'll be back. Keep beeping, I'll keep waving. <laughs> he has eight grandchildren, and he worries about what kind of country they're going to be in. He always said to me, you know, if you see someone that's a vet, always say to them, welcome home. Hey, thank you. Welcome home to you, too. And that was something he taught us years ago when we were little, not just, you know, last week. It's all about you guys. It's all about America. All about us. Yeah. Yep. It's been a hard year. It's been a hard year, but I'm very proud of my officers. They, they come to work every day, and they do a good job, and they, they keep this community safe. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it, but it's not about me. Hopefully, being here, I inspire other patriots to honor our military, honor our veterans, and support law enforcement.